It all started with the major upgrade of HTML to HTML5 in 2012. HTML5 added an array of media and other tags that supported the use of CSS, JavaScript, and jQuery to create inline vector-based animations. This meant that responsive animations and interactives could be done natively in a browser. No need for clunky flash players or expensive third-party plugins, you could just do it yourself on your website using JavaScript, jQuery, and vector animation coordinates. Of course, this didn't change the game immediately, but the potential was there and people began exploring what could be done. Among these early adopters was a team based in Norway. Their vision of digital tools to build interactive media for learning led to a grant from the Norwegian government. The team developed a simple authoring interface that hid the technical complexities and allowed users to create shareable media. They opened these tools to the public using h5p.org as a platform. Suddenly, people anywhere could go to h5p.org, create interactive media, and either link or embed the result in their own web pages. This was a hit. People loved it. Students loved it. Everyone was happy. In 2014, after the grant ended, the team founded Jubal, the company behind H5P, and carried the tools forward, continuing to enrich and expand the range of interactive options available through H5P.com. Today, only eight years later, the more than 30 interactive media you can produce in H5P integrate seamlessly with Canvas, and it is used around the world in over 200,000 websites and 1,700 major institutions. This is our new tool on the toolbar in Canvas, H5P, for interactivity, and you can use it easily to make your own course more engaging for students.